Yo, what's up, what's up? This is Deuce Eclipse from the Bay Area via Nicaragua in the house, man. Please, please don't shoot. Uh, it was uh, kind of, in my opinion, just from my personal experience, it's a little surreal because it's kind of like, that's how we started off the new year. And it was weird to see so many people that I know and that I have good vibes with on a, on that kind of a level, you know what I mean? And kind of like mourning, it's just kind of unbelievable a little bit because of what happened. And so it almost didn't feel real. Like, are we really here because the cops did this? You right. know, like, did this right. really happen? Right. And so it was that, that was kind of strange oh, 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 for me, you know what I'm saying? Oh. But uh, other than that, it was just good also in support of the Bay Area and just being out there for people. Because when people get together in any kind of environment, it creates a vibration, you know? So I think a lot of like-minded minds were together that day and we created a good vibration, or at least something like that, so. I think I was in LA, actually. We were, we were uh, I was out there with Zion and I, and uh, somebody had brought it up that it just happened, so we went online and checked the footage, and that was the first time I saw it, you know? And uh, it was just, it's almost so detached because the angles from such a far away point of view that it's hard to take seriously. It's like you're looking like, did that really happen? You know what I mean? Because you're not close up enough. Right. Because it's, it's almost like you're detached from it, like it was a TV show or something. Like you couldn't believe it. You know what I mean? So we just kind of watched it a couple of times and just let it sink in a little bit. Like, what was the point of that, you know? It's always going to be what it is, man. You can't judge things when people feel strongly about it, you know? And uh, I wasn't surprised. I mean, a lot of people are angry, you know what I mean, about what happened. And times are hard right now. You know, it's kind of like they want to release. And if there's no positivity or any outlets that are allowing you to release it in a positive manner, it's just going to come out however it comes out, you know? So I ain't mad at people when they riot because sometimes it's, you know, people have to be heard, man. And it's kind of like they want to be seen and heard and, and want to know that they're being listened to, you know. Just like in France when they were rioting out there or, you know, in Greece. It's kind of like people are going through some hard times, man, and they want to be seen and, and they also want to be a part of what's going on, you know. Like the economy is so crazy right now that it's separating people from themselves, you know, and uh, just because you don't have a lot of money or you're struggling in these times doesn't mean you don't want to be a part of what's going on in the world and the change that's going to take place, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like they're pushing people out. So, you know, I, I'm just glad that nobody was seriously injured, you know what I mean? Right, because right. it's always a shame to lose life over over something, Yeah, you know what I mean? It was definitely. Well, I feel the artists in the Bay, is, this place is really different from a lot of places because when you're from here and you're, and you're looked at for your music and, and it's, you know, people appreciate what you do, you f still feel a much a part of this community. It's like being from the Bay, I don't care that I rap, you know what I mean? If something goes down in the Bay, I'm gonna be there because it's just, I'm a part of this place. You know what I mean? And Latinos are a big part of it. So I always feel like I want to go out and represent my people right, you know, as best as I can, right. you know, when it comes to a situation like this. So I felt a lot of togetherness, man. A lot of artists were there that day and, you know, it was good to see them because we kind of like, I got to meet a lot of artists I don't necessarily talk to, you know what I mean, in my everyday life. So we kind of crossed paths that day and uh, it was just interesting, man. You know what I mean? To see ourselves as real people who feel things and stand behind causes for ourselves and for our people, you know what I'm saying? So it was real uplifting in right. a way to see that. Well, you went out? Yeah, for sure. I went out because I am the people, man. It's like, cops don't know if I be rapping. You know, they pull me over one day, I can tell them, hey, I'm Deuce, man, I'm chill, I'm chill, you, you know, and they don't know me, they don't care, you know what I mean? It's like, you could have been anybody that night. It could have been anybody, basically, you know? I mean, and I'm, I'm there because of the fact that I feel if I, any fan that I do have that appreciates what I do, 
you know, I'm there for them too because I want them to see that we are just, we're regular people, man. It's like I'm not something special because I'd be doing music, you know what I mean? It's like I'm not different from the next man, you know what I'm saying? I just do what I do. And uh, I want, it's good to show that reality, that we, that we're not just on a CD or away from you in the crowd that you can never get to us. It's kind of like, man, the day that that happens, I'm going to lose a big part of what I feel makes me who I am. You know what I mean? It's like not being able to be in the town or, 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 or the bay and like just be myself and walk around, you know what I mean? And say what's up to people and have fun on my own. Like that's part of what I am too. So we're there for that also. You know, we're, we want to just show our support for something horrible that happened. You know what I'm saying? So, mm. Oh, if he gets off, I'm kind of freaked out. I just feel like the deed's been done, and we lost a life over it, and nothing's going to make that better. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes that's just what happens when it's a bad situation, you know? But I watching just the fact that, you know, you drew a gun for no reason. There's no reason for that. It's kind of like you have to, something has to happen. You know, he can't just walk free and be like, he didn't, you know, there's no apology or in the video somebody mentioned, you know, wow, he he didn't even like bend down like, I'm so, you, are you okay? Like he wasn't surprised by what he did. I guess he just kind of walked away or so, I don't know. So it's like, I feel the people want justice and I, that's I think the question that we need to ask ourselves is what's justice? Like what's gonna make you as a community and me as a part of it better, make us feel better? You know what I mean? Is it gonna be if he goes to jail? more violence, like who knows, you know, my, I just want, I feel like some kind of charges need to happen, something has to happen, right. you know, for the people to feel good, because if not, it's kind of like a senseless murder caught on tape, nothing's going to happen, you know what I mean, people die every day that's not on camera, you know, and they go to jail and things happen to them, why, why does this got to be different, you right. know what I'm saying? Right.